that. Well, when I first uh, when I first uh, just saw the title, I went, "Oh, that's a Dr. Seuss book." I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's 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 like Mumford. And, it's it, the feel of it is if uh, Mumford and Sons covered a Dr. Seuss book. How's that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, what what are you what are you trying to say through the lyrics in it? I mean, is it is it that we have we have a journey that we're on and that we're going to... Um, yeah, it's it's kind of like a... Um, I wanted to write a song that was emotional um, but positive at the same time. It's very easy to write an emotional song that's depressing. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, but to write uh, an emotional song that is positive and encouraging and, and uh, motivating, that's what I wanted to write. I wanted mm. to write a song that, like, um, it kind of the way you feel when you're at the beginning of something new or a journey um nice you know like kind of it's kind of like i want to maybe i don't know maybe i wanted to re i think i wanted to maybe re-motivate myself to to keep doing what i'm doing it's like the places that will go it's like i'm just at the start i'm like i'm 10 years in but I, maybe i'm just at the start sure um i think i think there's still a part of me that feels that like um the, the quote-unquote success is just around the corner um and thinking about the places that 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 will go, like I, I'm not done yet. There's still things that I have to say. There's still things that we, people that we have to encourage and to impact. And um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of that feel. I, um, I love the but just one light can chase away the dark. I I always love that sort of metaphor and the and the idea yeah. of it and hopefully the truth of it. Mm -hmm. And then. You know, and then you follow it up with "so fold the map and follow your heart." I mean, here we are back to following our heart, but, <laughs> but, but there is, but there is something about just sort of putting the, just just forgetting about all the directives in life, and yeah. and just moving. You know, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. And to be open to it—that's what I guess it is. It's just being open to it and and being able to embrace what you don't know is out there. Yeah. That's just the the point is to not be, I think, I think when people you know like the whole follow your heart thing, it's like yeah, like I said, use use your heart as an engine, but let your brain be the steering wheel. Um, yeah. Like follow your heart, and and I think I think it's important because I think so many people don't. I think so many people just do what's easy or what's comfortable, and they're too afraid to try something that's different or that their parents might not approve of. Or that right. um, you know they're they're afraid to take a risk and like um, I'd say don't don't be don't be afraid to take a risk um, I don't know I can say yeah that's that's don't be afraid to take a risk no matter what it is yeah, but if it's just any anything at all like take risks yeah but but the truth is the the following line is some hope and fears are hard to tell apart and that I guess that's the crux of of Frank, right, is is when I do have all the information, how do I decipher the good versus the bad, and that's really putting them 180 degrees apart, but you know, yeah, that's how do you do it? I mean, do you have to get silent? Do you have to go to your God corner in your house and go oh Lord <laughs> please give me the sign is this a hope or is it a fear? Man, I... <laughs> I wish it was that easy. <laughs> right. The, I'll tell you the way. I'll, I'll be back in five minutes, honey. Yeah. I've just got to figure yeah. out if this was a hope or a fear. Um, the way I usually tell a hope from a fear is whether or not I'm successful at whatever I'm trying. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, it's... It, I don't know. I think that's just... I think that's just kind of like a... Uh, that line for me was like, it's so a fold the map and follow your heart. Some hopes and fears are hard to tell apart. Like... Um, That's that's that is the risk, you know. That is the risk of like some hopes and fears. It, like it, the thing that you hope for and some of the things that you fear are sometimes the same thing. Um, yeah. And and I guess that's that's what makes the risk. Like that's what that's what is the risk is like when it's like you know you're following your heart, you're diving in, you're taking the risk, and it's like there's a good chance that you're not gonna accomplish what you're trying to accomplish or that you're gonna. Um, it's not going to work out the way you want it to, or that you know, you the, you're going to break up. But you know, I think most, I think nine times out of ten, it's always better to try and fail at something than to not try at all and wish you had. 